They'll hire anybody at the help desk. Help desk hires everybody. I'm a truck driver. I make 75,000 a year. I want to get into IT, but I don't want to start at help desk. That's why I asked the question cloud engineer. Okay. Here's the tricky thing about this. So a lot of these high level certs are these quote unquote high level positions or whatever. A lot of these positions are oftentimes for people who have already been working in tech and they're kind of transitioning into another role. So like take AWS certification. That thing is more so geared towards somebody who's already been working in tech. They have a base layer understanding of how this stuff works and now they, they want to start going down the cloud path. That's not to say that a person fresh off the block can't get the job and do it, but oftentimes it's a much smoother transition for somebody who's already been working in tech to shift over to that versus somebody doing a total career shift from one industry to another. And so also I don't want to downplay help desk because a lot of people that, you know, they look at help desk like, oh, it's the bottom of the barrel. Listen, you can work at the help desk and be out of there within six months, get enough experience on your resume built up and throw your resume back out there. That's enough time for you to pack some things onto your resume and throw it back out there. As a matter of fact, I got another student, right? He started, he was 24 years old, 23, something like that. He started learning IT two years ago. As a matter of fact, I'm about to reach out to him and see if I can do an interview on this channel, but he didn't know a damn thing about IT two years ago, like absolutely nothing. But within two, two and a half years, he's done got his A plus, net plus, Security Plus. I think he got his AWS or his Azure or something else. Anyways, he started off working at the help desk for some company. Right now, he moved out of Florida and I think he's in Arizona somewhere. And he makes like 85000 a year, like two years later. I can't remember exactly what his job position is, but he went from, you know, whatever the hell they was paying him at the help desk to where he's making like 85000 a year. And this is just within two and a half years. And his salary is only going to go up from there. Like the way he's moving and what he wants to do and how he wants to learn. I wouldn't be shocked by this time next year if he if he's, you know, cracking a, a hundred plus. And that's just within, his, uh, you know, within three, three and a half years of him uh, working in IT. And I wouldn't totally discount that. I get it why people don't want to start there. But I also think that, like I say, that's the easiest point to transition into it because they'll hire anybody at the help desk. Help desk hires everybody. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't even have to have a cert to go apply for the help desk. They'll let everybody in. That's the easiest way to get in there. The thing is, once you're in there, look at what you're going to be doing, document it so you can build the experience. That's the reason why you're there to get the experience so that you can uh, hopefully apply for and qualify higher level jobs that offer more money. That's assuming all you had was the help desk to go through. But yes, you can bypass it. But when I talk about this, I just talk about it from the help desk perspective, because that's just the baseline that I think everybody can can pretty much understand and comprehend. I was planning to study the trifecta and steal it, but not sit down for those tests. Oh, okay. So you want to study the stuff and not to, I mean, you can do that too. I'm not telling you not to, but I'm like, if you're going to study for it, you might as well go get, the, you might as well go get the certification. That's just my personal philosophy. Foundational skills and cloud, you spin up VMs, which is a Unix box. You need basic Unix skills. Yeah. Listen, like I say, these, these sexy certifications, AWS, Azure, CCNA, and all this stuff, look, all that stuff, sexy and glamorous to novice people. But listen, like I say, I, I just, I just personally think it's not going to harm you to learn the foundational stuff. And then once you get to the more advanced stuff, it'll probably be an easier transition transition for you to learn it and comprehend it. That's just my personal opinion. Do what you want to do with your life. But I'm telling you, based off of the years I've been working in tech and how long I've been teaching this, I think that's what that's that's the best path for most people. Can you please tell me how to study for A plus net plus in three months? I really want to pass them in three months. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Sorry. Unless you got a photographic memory, I don't know of anybody that can successfully study for both of them certifications in three months. Now, what you can do, you can probably take three months per certification and study it and pass it like that. So you take two to three months to learn A plus hardware, two to three months to learn A plus software, two to three months to learn network plus. You can do that. But if you think you're going to learn A plus and network plus at the same damn time in three months without a photographic memory or on some Einstein level of comprehension, it's probably not going to happen for you. I'm, I'm just keeping it a buck with you. It's probably not going to happen.